journey of maths with sir a true lover of maths i am back with one more video on vedic maths keep on practicing it will improve your speed and accuracy in this video i will tell how to multiply two two digit numbers this is a method most common or most general method how to multiply two two digit numbers for example 12 and 13 this is applicable for any two digit numbers 32 and 22 okay how to multiply this two numbers using this method first i will multiply then i will explain it to you 32 6 156 this much symbol is this calculation 2 2 4 704 how that i am going to explain okay in this method first multiply the two digits in the unit place and write it here 3 2s are 6 okay now cross multiply the numbers and add it 3 1 is 3 2 1 is 2 okay now multiply this two digits 1 into 1 is 1 so the final answer is 6 5 1 1 56 next 22 into 32 first multiply the digits in the unit place 2 2 is 4 now 3 2 is 6 plus 2 is 4 3 2 is 6 Okay, add the three, four, six plus four, ten. Carry over one, six plus one, seven. I hope it is clear to you. We will solve more problems now. Okay, we will practice some more problems. Twenty-three into twenty-four. What is the first step? Multiply four and three. Four threes are twelve. Carry over one is there. Okay. Now cross multiply and add. Four twos are eight. Three twos are six. Now add the last two digits. Multiply the last two digits. Two twos are four. Now add all this. Two eight plus six six. Fourteen plus one fifteen. Carry over one four plus one five. One more. First, multiply the digits in the unit place. Two one is two. Now cross multiply and add. Three one is three. Two two are four. Four plus three seven. Three two are six. Okay. One more. Four three are twelve. Carry over one. Four one is four. Three one is three. Four plus three seven plus one eight. One into one is one, so the final answer is one eighty-two. Keep on practicing; it will improve your speed and accuracy. For numbers near to hundred, one more method is easier than this. That is base hundred method. The method of base hundred. I'm going to explain. Suppose we want to multiply ninety-eight and ninety-seven. This method is applicable only when the two numbers are less than hundred or both the numbers are greater than hundred. We can use this method if both the numbers are less than hundred and both the numbers are greater than hundred. Okay. So suppose we want to multiply ninety-eight and ninety-seven. How to multiply this using this method? First of all, take the deviations from hundred. What is the difference of hundred and ninety-eight? Ninety-eight is two less than hundred, so write minus two. And ninety-seven is three less than hundred, so write minus three. Okay? Divide it into two parts. This is the right part and this is the left part. Okay? The right part always contains two digits. So multiply minus three and minus two. Three twos are six. Don't just write six since it is of base hundred. Two zeros are here. Two digits must be here. Okay, so three two are six. Write it as zero six. 
Next part, subtract 97, subtract 2 from 97 or 3 from 98. Both will be same. 97 minus 2 is 95. So the final answer is 9506. Isn't it easy? One more question. Suppose we want to multiply 86 and 96. Okay? 86 and 96. In this base 100 mother, first of all write the deviations from 100. 86 is 14 less than 100. So write 14 here. Minus 14. And 96 is 4 less than 100. So write minus 4. Divide it into two parts. Okay. What is 14 into 4? 4 fours are 16. This is 56. 14 fours are 56. Okay. Subtract 96 or 86 minus 4. Both are same. 96 minus 14 is the same as 86 minus 4. What is 86 minus 4? 82. So the final answer is 82, 56. This is true in the case. If both the numbers are greater than 100 also, let the numbers be 103 and 105. How to multiply these two numbers? Okay. 103 is 3 greater than 100. So write plus 3. And 105 is 5 greater than 100. So plus 5. Divide it into two parts. Okay. 5 threes are 15, write 15 itself. Because base is 100, there must be 2 digits in the right hand side. Here it is 2 digits, here it may be 3 digits. 1, 0, 5 plus 3. Here it is minus 4, so we subtract minus 4, minus, subtract 4 from 86. Here it is plus 5, so add plus 5. You can add 1, 0, 3 and 5. Or 105 and 3. Both are same. So 105 plus 3 is 108. This is the final answer. If the number is close to 100, then base 100 method is easy. Hope all of you understand this. Let us practice some more questions. 94 into 95. Since it is close to 100, we can use base 100 method. What is the first step? Write the deviations from 100. 94 is 6 less than 100, so write minus 6. And 95 is 5 less than 100, so write minus 5. What is the next step? Multiply the 2 and write the answer. 6 5s are 30. Okay? Since it is of base 100, the right hand side must contain 2 digits. If it contains only 1 digit, then write 0 behind it. Okay? 6 5s are 30. What is the next step? Subtract 5 from 94 or 6 from 95. Both remains the same. So what is the answer? 94 minus 5 is 89. So the final answer is 89, 30. Next question, 94 into 85. 94 is 6 less than 100. So write minus 6. And 85 is 15 less than 100. So write minus 15. Okay. Multiply the two numbers. 15 into 6. 15, 6 are 19. So write 90 here. Subtract 15 from 94 or 6 from 85. Both are same. So what is the answer? 85 minus 6 is 70. Now, so the answer is 7990. One more question that is 112 into 11. Okay, 112 is 12 greater than 100. So write plus 12. 111 is 11 greater than 100. So write 11. Okay, now 12 into 11, all of you know it is 132. But write 32 and write 1 carry over here. Now add 12 to 111 or 11 to 112. What is the answer? It becomes 112 plus 11 is 1, 2, 3. 1 carry over here, 
one is carry over here so add one to this three so the final answer is one two four three two okay this is called base hundred method this is easy if the numbers are near to hundred thank you